guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the newest ROM for the Droid Bionic. It is Reblurred, and it's by the Theory ROM team, uh, who is compromised of Droid Theory and D Hacker. Um, this ROM is really sweet and really cool. It is the next iteration of Unleashed. I showed you guys about Unleashed uh, last week, and uh, so this is just the next step progressing towards their deblurred ROM that will be coming out soon. Uh, so a lot of people have asked me, is this a brand new ROM? I uh, know it's not. It's just an update and they've renamed it, so there's been a lot of confusion on how to install it. Uh, do I install it as an update? Do I install it as a new ROM? Uh, you can actually just install it as an update if you're already on Unleash. So uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you guys a quick install tutorial and uh, then we'll get into the quick review of the ROM. So let's get started. Uh, you need to have a rooted Bionic and you also need to have the official Bionic Bootstrap uh, installed from the market or you can get the official app uh, from the link in the description. Uh, the Bionic Bootstrap it is open source and freely available so I have a link they're in the description. So open up Bionic Bootstrap, click Bootstrap Recovery, and click Success, and Reboot Recovery. Now I say that Bionic Bootstrap is open source and free to the public, and it is, but I do suggest that you support the developer Kush and purchase it from the market. It's really cheap, and it is worth uh, the money that you put into it. It just supports further development by Kush. So once it comes up, we will install the ROM. Make sure that you head to the link in the description and download Reblurred. Um, by the time you see this, it should be up to version 1.6 and include some bug fixes. Uh, so if you're already on Unleashed, all you have to do is wipe cache. And you would select Yes. And then you would just go to Advanced and select white Dalvik and select yes and then you would go and install the ROM if you're installing this for the first time and you've never had unleashed on your bionic um, you will go to white data factory reset select that and select yes delete all user data and then you'll go to white cache yes white cache and then you'll go back down to advanced wipe Dalvik and you would wipe Dalvik and uh, then you would go to mounts and storage and you would format system and you would select that and then go down to yes format system uh, once you've prepped for installation you go to install zip from SD card select that Choose zip from internal SD card. If you downloaded it directly to your phone, it will be in the download folder. And you're looking for a reblurred version uh, 1.5 is what we have now, but uh, by tomorrow 1.6 will be out with the bug fixes. Uh, so you would select reblurred version 1.5 uh, with Power Boost, and you would select that and click Yes to install should take about five minutes to install and once you're finished you'll go back and reboot the system now the first boot is going to take up to ten minutes so don't panic and also with this ROM uh, Droid Theory suggests that you allow it to boot up and set the phone down for at least fifteen minutes and allow everything to settle in before you pick it up and use it uh, that's on the first boot only. After that, uh, everything should run pretty fluid. Uh, so once this boots up, we'll get into our quick review. Okay, guys, so we're all booted up. And I just want to show you some features of this ROM. Uh, if you open up the app drawer, you'll see the Bionic box. That comes with all the Droid Theory ROMs. Um, so they have, like, Theory ROMs for updates. Um... Pretty soon they'll drop D blurred in there, which will be awesome. That's just all of Moto Blur removed. And then they also have the mods where you can 
I select any type of theme that they put out. It'll be here as well as certain things like a uh, free Wi-Fi hotspot was in there at one time. They have like theme Gmail and black swipe. Uh, so all kinds of different mods will be posted in that part. And then of course they have a donate button and I do suggest that you use that donate button. And they have some other things in here uh, like the FM radio is installed. They have removed all of the bloatware but you know there's certain things that that uh, we use on a regular basis like DLNA that was left behind, FM radio, so there's still some elements of bloat that are in there, just, just those few little things there. Uh, this version also comes with WebTop support so that you can plug in your HDMI cable directly to your TV and have the desktop experience uh, right there on your television from your phone. Um, and also, another thing that he included here is the Atrix camera, which helps with the shutter speed. And if I take the picture, it helps a little bit. Um, you see that it's still kind of sluggish. I've heard that the MIUI camera works even better than that. And who knows, maybe that'll be implemented in the update. Um, that's coming tomorrow. And the other thing that this comes with is the unthrottled script uh, for Power Boost. And you'll find that in the SD card extension. So, what you want to do is get Root Explorer from the market, another cheap app that you will use a bunch in the future uh, if you're doing any kind of mods on, on your Bionic. So, you would select SD card extension, you'll find that in there. I've already moved it to the SD card, but to move it, all you would do is hold and select the folder, and then you would click Move, and then you would take that over into the SD card uh, slot, and you would click Paste, and then it'll be there. Um, and then you'll see it here, um, Unthrottle. That's that's the folder that we moved is Unthrottle. So once you have that in your internal SD card, you'll open up Script Manager. And you'll go down and find that unthrottle folder and you'll open up menu.sh and click run as root and then run. Now, what unthrottle does is it helps with the uh, 3G speeds. It keeps you from being throttled by Verizon. So if you use a crazy amount of 3G data or even uh, they've said that it works for 4G as well. If you use tons and tons of data this will keep you from being throttled. Uh, you know you experience it after you've used lots of data it seems like you get tons of buffering in YouTube videos and uh, pages take forever to load. So this will take care of that and I've also heard a lot of people saying that it will also boost your internet speeds which I'm not sure if it really does that or not. So what you would do is select number two for unthrottle and you would select your device, the Droid Bionic, and pick your ROM. And when it's finished, it'll say done. At this point, you'll select 9 for exit. I'm sorry. You'll select 8 for reboot. I've already done this mod, so I'm not going to reboot right now. Uh, but you will want to reboot the phone. Uh, also included in here are some battery scripts. Uh, that should help out with the battery life. I've been running this thing all day, uh, let's see here, for more than 10 hours, and I'm still at 34%. Um, and I've been on this thing, like I said, all day long, checking email, texting, talking on the phone, um, looking at the various forums, browsing the web, and I still have plenty of battery life. Some people were saying with the 1.5 version, they were not getting the best of battery life, but I don't know because I've been having really great battery life. Uh, but overall, this ROM is very snappy and smooth, and Droid Theory and the Theory ROM team are doing an excellent job with our Bionic. They're the only ones out right now that have a complete ROM for us to use. Uh, we know that Team Liberty, uh, KJR31, and uh, J Rummy are coming out with Liberty for the Bionic, and also a 13 year old uh, who goes by Mo has come out with Mo Mod. And it's actually in its testing stages, uh, so it's not even really available for us yet. But I will be featuring that ROM as soon as it's ready. Uh, it's outstanding, a 13-year-old developing a ROM for the Droid Bionic. 
Uh, but anyways, lots to come for the Droid Bionics, so stay tuned. Check me out at droidmoderx.com. For all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks, you can also find Droid Bionic specific hacks at droidmoderx.com slash bionic. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated world.